I see so much difference in my swing, my ball striking, my quality of shots on a day to day basis and also even within one single session. So I've always asked myself, what's actually making the difference between a good swing and a bad swing? And I, yes, I see the video, but I don't see the data underneath. And what I'm currently doing is I'm actually collecting all the data, tracking the process and tracking my ball speeds and my form of the day or whatever you want to call it on a day to day basis. Because I figured, I've always asked myself like, why am I swinging it, or why is my maximum ball speed on one day, 200 and whatever, 18 in the meanwhile, and on another day, 232. Why is that? Yes, there's different balls, there's different clubs, there's whatever, different club heads, different temperatures and all of that. But I've made the experience that my well, per, my personal perception or whatever, my, my anticipation of the, of the practice session has absolutely nothing to do with the performance. Mm -hmm. So on some days I feel shit, I'm the fastest ever, and on other days I'm like, let's crank it, I'm like super slow. So there's something happening in the nervous system or whatever it is that you can't really feel that I try to make visible, right? And that's why I'm collecting data at the moment and, well, to, to simply see what's the difference between the sessions. And well, it's, it's probably the most extreme in long drive, yes, because we're, our numbers game is even worse than, than golf, right? right? Because all we care about is numbers and dialing in the numbers for that specific day. So I see my performance immediately in the numbers. But I mean, in golf and scores and so on, you see the same. Yes, a lot of luck is involved, but John Rahm is playing well right now, so is Scotty Scheffler, but the same guy is not winning every single week. Unless you're Scotty Scheffler a couple of weeks ago, right? but, but it's it's so different, and I'm I'm just asking myself, what is it? Because um, in the meanwhile, I know everything about the launch and, and so on and so forth. Yes, but there's so much more, and the more I dig into this, the more I find out that I do not know. So for me right now, doing all of this, and actually here in Tech Talk and coaching golf is a whole nother perspective to me because I want my, so what I'm working on right now is actually working on my release pattern, working on my closure rate, working on my club delivery to be more consistent, to be more versatile eventually because, well, I, I have to go back and forth between a high cut and a low draw probably in like five minutes when, when I'm having a bad day, right? Or when, when conditions are a certain way. So that's where it's going right now. And it's not only like whacking the golf ball as hard as we can and just hope for a result. Yes, that can work out one week when, well, the conditions favor you, but the next week it could be completely different. And when you want to be a complete player, you got to, you know, well, be capable of doing it all. And, well, that's, that's why all the data and everything underneath is so interesting because I cannot only connect a certain feel to a number and repeat that over and over again, but also see what's going wrong when I miss hit it. Or what's, what's happening when I, for example, just one example, um, I tend to toe strike it. So my miss it is definitely on the toe, high toe. And I've seen, actually seen my torque force or my AP force being like super high. So when you see me swing a, a, a driver, my foot is like flying off and going back here. So that has been actually a bit early, resulting into toe strikes because my whole body and everything was moving backwards. So that, that resulted in a, in a toe strike eventually. So I was trying to get rid a little bit or crank it down a little yeah. bit and trade it maybe for a bit of vertical because my vertical force with a driver is fairly low compared to Justin James. Right. Justin James is like 300, yeah. right? I struggle to get 250. So on a normal shot, I'm like 220, which is super low for a long driver, yeah. right? And at the same time, I mean, when we compare like ball speeds, we're about similar. I hit the fastball, but whatever. It's yeah, like yeah. about the same, right? And well, you simply see, as you said before, there's so many different ways to create force, to create speed. And for me as well, it's not too much about that one shot. It's about the efficiency to make it throughout four days. Because going as fast as you can, four days in a row, trying to be the fastest in the final on the fourth day, that takes a bit more than just hoping for that one shot. Right? So efficiency in that moment is key to, well, 
produce forces in the most efficient way, use the shaft the most efficient way, so I'm still at like almost 100% on the fourth day. So that's why all of this is so valuable to me.